engineering is tough man like engineering is tough let me show you let me show you Huffman coding Huffman coding is a compression technique Sometimes engineering can be quite tough, like Huffman coding, you know, that took me like a whole day just to like understand it because like you kind of have to like understand the maths behind it, like it's not just memorizing facts and stuff and most of the time like I'm just going through YouTube videos and like chat GPT for like answers because like lecture notes aren't even that, aren't even that good, you know, and you can like spend the whole day just just trying to understand a small concept in engineering you know you are just that just Check out the number of tabs I have open. This is like what stuff with like engineering. Like, like when I tried to learn Huffman coding, that took me like a whole day just to like understand it. And it was just swiping tabs again and again and again. Just trying to understand a small concept. And that's what makes it tough in a way. I study electrical engineering and like I feel to be good in like electrical engineering. You kind of need to have like a good grasp in like the stuff that you are learning. Like you know there's some questions about signals traveling and then there's a gain in the, in the signal and then what happens and like when you add a capacitor what happens and like how far can the signal reach and like there's all formulas for all of this stuff and stuff like that. But like you kind of need to have a strong understanding of like all of this stuff because like in exams all sorts of weird questions will pop out. But it's, but it's somewhat based on the concept that you have learned. But it's hard to have like a good grasp of like everything because like there's all sorts of weird questions being asked in exams and like even the lecture slides aren't even that good. So you kind of rely a lot on like Googling and like ChatGPT. Like I feel the main help that you can get in studying engineering is just by having a lot of friends. Like I think if you have a lot of friends like that can take a lot of your trouble away from like understanding stuff because like if you have like a lot of smart friends you probably just gonna be fine who are very smart and they are very good and if you think about it surrounding yourself with like friends also breaches that curve Hey, sorry for not posting for some time. I think some of you might know that I live in Malaysia, but I study in University of Edinburgh. So like I just flew back to Edinburgh because classes are about to start and 
I literally lost one luggage, so I don't actually know what's going on there. The airlines are still in the process of finding the luggage and all that. So yeah, a lot of my gear was there and all that, so yeah. But right. But okay. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.